welcome or welcome back to Penny's Two Cents. It's your girl Penny. And today I have my father with me. Hi everyone. Guys, we're at Dairy Queen. We are gonna be trying out the Dairy Queen Wild Alaskan fish sandwich. Okay, so this is the Dairy Queen Grill and Chill that will have the fish sandwiches. Please check it out before you go over to Dairy Queen if you decide you want to try this fish sandwich fish fish sandwich please check out your dairy queen to see if they got it i think most of them are going to have it now and th through through lent but just please check it out i don't want you to make a trip all the way to dairy queen without knowing if the if your dairy queen has the fish sandwich alaskan wild alaskan fish sandwich um i'm gonna get dad started and then we'll look at mine a little closer and we'll talk about the prices and all that so I'm gonna hand this to Dad. Dad, this is pretty warm, okay? okay. So, you might burn your mouth, so be careful. We've talked a little bit and we parked, so it should have cooled down a little bit. So this is Alaskan Pollock, guys. Alaskan Pollock. Good. Good so far? No, oh, it's hot. <laughs> so <laughs> be careful. <laughs> Alaskan Pollock, guys. Um I think it's just got lettuce and tartar sauce on it. Yes, I see tartar sauce underneath there. Here's the Alaskan Pollock. It's like a triangle. It looks crunchy though, and it's nice and hot. The bread is toasted like they say it's supposed to be. Okay, it's about as round in diameter as a baseball, guys. Okay, so let's say so you know the size of it. They are charging $4.99 for this in Ohio. And what else was I going to say? I was going to say, oh, me and Dad's going to taste test this for you. We're going to tell you what we like or don't like about it. And we're going to rate it one being the worst, ten being the best, or somewhere in between. Okay, guys? And before we get started, because um, my sandwich is pretty darn hot. But before we get started, I wanted to uh, say a, uh, a thank you, a big thank you to Mark Collin. Mark Collin sent us another super thanks. We thank you so much for that. And um, I wanted to say one more thing, okay? I have received a few rude comments and I have asked you guys, you know, if, the, if you see a rude comment and you, this is your channel too, okay? If you feel like you need to tell that person, hey, we don't accept that here, you know, please do it in a, in a, a nice manner. I usually don't answer anything to rude comments. I usually ignore it. I don't say anything to them. But I want you guys to feel like this is your channel too. This is your place of comfort. And I also don't want you guys to get upset, okay? I don't want you to be upset by these rude comments. I say ignore them, but if sometimes you feel like you need to say something back to them and tell them, you know, this isn't the place for that. We don't accept that here. Go somewhere else feel free to do that because this is your channel too but I don't want anybody to feel like this is a place where you know you see the rude comments and it bugs you and you don't want to watch us anymore please don't feel that way please just take my advice just ignore it I ignore it we're doing the best we can do here if somebody doesn't like it they can go somewhere else with it everybody has their own opinion not everybody's opinion should be spoken I feel I have opinions about stuff, but I keep it to myself, you know? Why can't why can't we all be like that, you know? Spread the love instead of the hate. Because hate spreads faster than love. I don't know why that is, but it's true. And let's try to change that, okay? Let's try to change that. Okay, I think my sandwich is cooled down enough. I gotta get some bites. It's good. Okay. $4.99, okay. Mm. Forgot to give you a napkin, Jay. Man, okay. This is... This is better than I thought it was going to be. It's Dairy Queen, right? It's good. This is better than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Oh. I 
got tartar sauce and blood is on my pants. <laughs> it's not a video unless I get stuff on my pants or my shirt or everywhere. <laughs> or the console. <laughs> Okay, I'm trying not to say too much because I really want to hear Dad's opinion before I say anything. I want to add my two cents in later, hence Penny's two cents, right? So, I'm trying not to say anything. Man, sometimes when something tastes so bad or something tastes so good, it's hard not to say anything, right? So, I'm trying to keep it to myself, but I think we, I agree, I think we both agree we like it. <laughs> fuzzy from me. Okay. And the bread fills me up so quickly, guys. I want to keep eating this, but I know that the bread will make me feel bad. I don't want to talk a little bit. <laughs> Go figure, huh? Very good sandwich. Yep, I agree. Let's get a drink here. So we could talk about that sandwich. We don't want to give scores until we, <laughs> until we talk about it. <laughs> Dad always wants to give a score before we talk about it. That is a very good fish sandwich. Yeah. And it's coating. It's nice and crunchy. Well, didn't you think? Yeah. Um, I feel like it's got enough like salt content, you know what I mean? It's got enough flavor where it doesn't taste bland. It doesn't, there's no blandness. It's is right. It? What? How'd you feel about the tartar sauce and the lettuce and the butter? Tartar sauce was perfect. Perfect amount for you? Perfect amount for me. Okay. It was, it was really good and, and the, the bun was good. Mm -hmm. uh, the bun was salt. Mm -hmm. The bun was chewy. Mm -hmm. I tell you that everything about this sandwich is perfect. Yeah, I agree. Um, the fish wasn't fishy tasting. No, it, it wasn't. It wasn't seasoned uh, right. It was fresh out of the fryer. It fresh out of the fryer. It was breaded right. Mm -hmm. It's like yeah, it was good. You could tell it was fresh out of the fryer, couldn't you? You could tell that they yeah. just took that thing out of the fryer, you know. And, got the bun ready and put it on it was fresh out of the fryer very very good did not taste fishy tasted like a very fresh piece of fried fish um pollock it was very flaky um like dad said the the coating on it is nice and crunchy and it has a flavor it's got and the seasoning. pickles the pickles were good too oh i don't there's like no pickle to, it's uh, in the tartar sauce I I uh, oh and a tartar sauce well there's uh, lettuce okay. lettuce and tartar sauce so you're tasting like the pickly out of the tartar sauce. Okay. Um, but that's a very good sandwich. I'm going to say one thing really quick before I ask Dad a score. And I'm thinking too, first before I ask Dad a score, I'm thinking what my score is. Because I don't want Dad to mislead me in any way, okay? But I'm going to say this is going to be controversial. I like this fish sandwich way better than McDonald's fish filet sandwich, okay? I like this way better. Okay, I feel like this is more, it's more quality. It, it, but I don't feel like I spent a lot on this either. You know why? I don't feel like I was overcharged for this. This is a really good fish sandwich. Um, you know, I like some other people's fish sandwich more than this, but they're more expensive. Culver's has a really good fish sandwich. They're, they're a little more expensive. Um, Arby's has a really good fish sandwich, but they're a little more expensive. So, I mean, but this one is really good from Dairy Queen. It so, was really a good sandwich. Yeah. I, I tell you the what, it was fresh. It was it was melt in your mouth, mm -hmm. and it, it was good fish mm -hmm. and a good tasting fish. Yep, yeah. it goes. It went really well together, and the price you can't beat. Four dollars and ninety nine cents for a decent fish sandwich, 
and it tastes fresh and it's nice and crunchy and it's not bland, I would pay $4.99 for this sandwich again. You know what I mean? That's, it's I that would good. Do. So anyway, Dad, what kind of score out of 10 are you going to give this? A 9.5. A 9.5? Yeah. Um, I'm going to give it a solid 9. A solid 9. It's a very good sandwich. The price is right. Check and see if your Dairy Queen has the sandwich, guys. Check and see before you go over and try to get one. Like I said, I don't... It's a very good sandwich, uh, and you can't go wrong. Yeah. You can't go wrong. So check your Dairy Queen. Um, it'll be a Dairy Queen Grill and Chill, because the regular other Dairy Queens just sell ice cream. But a Dairy Queen Grill and Chill, and see if they have this Wild Alaskan Fish Sandwich. I believe that's what they're calling it. Wild Alaskan Fish Sandwich. See if they have it. If that's what you're in the mood for, I say we recommend trying it. It's a decent fish sandwich. You can't go wrong. No. Nope. You run. You really can't go wrong as a family, as a, as a group, as just, as two just, people, or just by yourself. You just want a fish by yourself. Want a fish sandwich, five dollars. You know. So anyway, that's it. Are you ready to let these guys yes, go, Dad? Yes. So guys, we hope. You all have a great lunch, a great dinner, or a great late night snack. But most of all, guys, we hope you have a great day. A great day and a better tomorrow, and God bless you all. Yes, guys, God bless. Come back tomorrow, see what we're eating, see what we're reviewing, see if we like it or not. Until tomorrow, bye-bye. Bye-bye.